Hi, my name is Dorothy Howard, and I'm presenting on examining neurodivergent Wikimedia and experiences, a content analysis and investigation into demographic research methods. Our project team includes myself as co-PI, as well as Lane Raspberry, a Wikimedian in residence at the University of Virginia School of Data Science, and Steve Stilberman, advisor, author of uh, Neurotribes, The Legacy of Autism and the Future of Neurodiversity. This is a Wikimedia Research Fund grant, uh, grant funded study and the link to the study is below, so you can use uh, the talk page to add comments. We are presenting our in-progress research to solicit community feedback, and we're particularly interested in potential biases and risks that we should make sure to attend to, ways to involve the population studied in the co-production of knowledge and avenues for further presenting this work and engaging with the communities it's about. So I was watching a HBO series called On Tour with Asperger's R Us, and I heard this quote, uh, obviously Wikipedia was written by people with Asperger's. And that piqued my interest um, because the idea that neurodivergent people are heavily represented among Wikimedia contributors is a trope or a stereotype within and outside the Wikimedia communities. And um, so I wanted to explore this in more depth. And so I recruited Steve on the team. And in 2001, Steve Silberman, published a Wired article called The Geek Syndrome about the convergence of people on the autism spectrum in the computing careers in Silicon Valley. Silberman's article and book, Neurotribes, raised questions about why people on the autism spectrum might succeed in the tech industry. There are a number of papers that I have identified qualities associated with autistic individuals that overlap with the job demands of software development, such as systematizing information processing, specialization of interests, and pattern recognition. So this kind of background research is informing our methods design, and we intend to engage with work on neurodivergent workers and tech workers, communicative cultures among neurodivergent populations and neurodivergent internet culture. So for this six month uh, research project, uh, we have two parts, a content analysis of existing public discussions about being neurodivergent participating in Wikimedia projects to investigate present discourse and scope this novel research area. And then second, a public report recommending methodological considerations for future research on neurodivergent Wikimedians. Given the complexity and lack of existing studies about how to study this complex demographic. So for the first part, the research question is, what is the nature of existing public conversations about being neurodivergent and participating in Wikimedia projects? So this is about the nature of existing conversations. And I'm going to discuss a couple aspects of the methods. So content analysis is a qualitative method to study discourse involving the creation of a corpus followed by qualitative coding. Uh, a corpus is being created by querying pages across English Wikimedia platforms, including essays, talk pages, user pages, and policies, and we're keeping a log of search terms in data collection. We are not labeling Wikimedians as neurodivergent, but we're taking into account when people self-identify. And also, as far as privacy, we care about privacy. We will not use direct quotations or usernames in our publications. We will paraphrase any quotes, and we will develop a process for including text originating from potentially sensitive contexts in our data set, beginning with identifying indicators of sensitive contexts, such as states of distress. So for the second part, we're designing research recommendations. Uh, the purpose of this or the deliverable is a set of research design recommendations for future research. So this study is just a start, hopefully, of other studies, but we want to have a strong foundation in ethics and research design. So this involves careful planning, investigating potential risks, 
uh, providing a foundation for future studies, examining ways to involve the community in shaping knowledge and representing themselves and figuring out how to make the research accessible. I didn't put on here, but we're also really interested in language and uh, stepping outside of just the English Wikipedia context. So some areas of interest within this uh, include terminology, terminology challenges, research ethics, gender and the presentation of neurodivergence and the specificity there, uh, aspects of marginalization that may affect the research and also be part of our findings like stigmas, concerns about disclosure, non-disclosure, masking or camouflaging. Also how the presence of the neurotypical people in research context changes the research. There's a lot of anthropology about um, reflexivity and research context challenges to survey methods and just surveys are hard anyway. We're not doing a survey, but we're interested in that. Self-selection and bias and designing research for neuroinclusivity. And that's all I have. And we're interested in the discussion. So there's my email. Thank you very much.